What's up, y'all? All right, so you got to understand that there is a lot more happening than just a bank system failure, okay? You're, I'm going to about to go over a bunch of stuff here on the podcast. If you go hit the link tree, hit that first one, follow us on Rumble, and get in our Telegram and, and stay updated with everything going on. However, just a, a, a quick uh, little sum sum before I start the show. You have to see that these, like Silicon Valley Bank, Silicon Valley Bank was a, a, a lot of stuff went through to the Chinese, all right, you have to understand. I've been talk I talked in my last video about how a new system is live and nobody knows. They're not telling you. They're not telling you. You need to go to executive order 13959. Trump put this in place for this exact reason. Not only, not only are they seizing assets of these banks in real time in front of your face to see, but the whole banking system is interconnected to it. So you got to think about where do these little banks get them? They get it from the commercial banks. And you have to understand, you have to understand that this new system is live right now. You need to get in the rumble and, and listen to what I'm about to, about to tell you. Because this is this is a systematic destruction of the old guard and you're watching it in real time. Don't stop paying attention to what the Dow is doing. Look at the whole banking sector. This stuff is a spider web. It is all interconnected. All right? You need to understand this. Credit Suisse is doing the same thing. They just tom they just plummeted straight down. Why? Executive Order 13959. The new system. Uh, uh, the FDIC. Uh, oh, well, well, guess what? We actually have enough money to cover all who's actually paying out these who's paying it out? Because they don't have the money. They have enough to cover about 1% of deposits. But there's some money coming somewhere else to cover these. Isn't that interesting? There is a system that is live right now, and you are witnessing, you are witnessing the new system come online. And they're going to run simultaneously next to each other for a little while. You're not going to see it. But we'll tell you every time we see it, everything was laid out. Everything was laid out. And you're seeing the system mag destruction of the old guard. We'll see you soon. Go get in our telegram. Follow us on Rumble. Holla. Right now, Shalom, Shalom, family. First and foremost, I want to give all honor, glory, and praise unto Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, Bahashem, Rakak, Wadash. Double honors to the elders of the nation of Israel. And shalom to you, brothers out here, man, that are laboring um, and doing the elements, making your body a living sacrifice, you know, trying to seal the elect, and also making your calling and election sure. And to the um, sisters out there that are learning, Listening and applying, being obedient to your husband, Shalom, man, Shalom. You know, um, this is the brother Zachariah again coming to you with another lesson. Just, um, you know, like a walk and talk. Talking about, um, you know, we had three banks collapse, man, within a week, man. And, um, you know, a lot of people are not talking about this. And I, when I say a lot of people, I'm talking about like your average citizens. Half of them don't even know what's going on, you know. Like I was talking to a co worker and he doesn't know. Like, man, he's new we're pre pretty uh cool guy man you know but uh you know he's a jake and, and i was telling him you know about it about him being israel and everything too you know i think he's kind of hearkening it's a lot to digest you know so i kind of like taking it easy little here little there as i'm speaking to him i don't want to throw it all in his face you know but uh you know some people you have to take it like that you know you know but um you know, for me, when I heard, when I immediately heard like about us being Israel and stuff, I don't know, it just hit my spirit, and I had that a, a, a spirit on me of like researching and things. But um, you know, it's different for some of our people, because some of our people they just, you know, especially when you're trying to edify them, your hands on with them, you know, you just got to take it a little, little there. But um, you know, and his mindset, he's a, you know, he's been, he's like me, he's been down and out, and he's just trying to find a way, you know, to, you know, get us get uh take it to another level and stuff but i told him i was like man you know i didn't want to crash that on his parade but i had to tell him you know through the spirit like hey man babylon this place is babylon this place is going to be destroyed you know but i told him about the banks being collapsed and he didn't even know so a lot of our people don't don't really know what's going on in this world man and you know and that's why it's our job to be watchmen and see see what's going on and tell the people warn them and stuff like that and, you know, because they don't know. So it's good to 
definitely be seeking out information and always posting and letting people know what's going on. What's up with you, man? And um, this thing was very, very crazy, man. And um, But a lot of people don't want to hear this, too, when you tell them. You know, they'll feel some kind of way when you tell them that America is going to be destroyed. They don't want to hear that, you know. And they think that you're being um, negative and things like that. But, you know, this, this place is, is done for, man. You know, and, and putting your stock and your trust and stuff like that in this place, um, you know, it's, it's really no good, man. You know, um, use the world, but don't abuse it. And um, I, I was telling my brother that also earlier. Um, let see if I can find that scripture real quick. Um, actually, and this was, uh, I was talking to a brother earlier today, man. Uh, is a correct brother. Uh, well, not earlier, but just like moments ago. And uh, this is 1 Corinthians 7 and uh, chapter 7, verse 31. And um, he put the NLT, and I'll read that. That's cool. Uh, Those who use the things of the world should not become attached to them. For this world, as we know it, will soon pass away. And that's ex and that's the truth. That's what I was telling uh, this brother. You know, like these banks. These banks are collapsing and things like that. And um, so we have to be in a mindset of... You know, everything going to be all right. You know, people are running, pulling money out, you know, investing in Bitcoin and all this other little stuff. You know, you don't you basically showing that you don't have no faith and you thinking that, oh, I'm getting prepared. I'm doing this. You know, all this stuff is going to collapse. You know, all that stuff, man. It don't matter. At the end of the day, this man is going to usher in his MOTB. And so what you going to do, you know, because you, you're going to be faced with that, man, that temptation. But Yahweh's got something, you know, planned to where he's going to make sure his elect men, uh, you know, and, and, you know, those that are chosen, destined for salvation, not to give in. You know, he's got something um, up his sleeves and we may not know what that is, but we have to have faith and we have to believe and have trust in, in, in all in Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai. Not in, in, in our own doing. You know what I'm saying? So I'm not afraid. I'm not worried. You know? And, you know, trying to, like, uh, find some uh, kind of loophole and all that. We don't. That's not the, the, the type of mindset we need to be in. You know? But uh, just praying, man. And praying that, you know, Yahweh has, sends his angels to protect us in those uh, trying days. You know? Because this devil, man, he's getting ready to shut this shit down you know because they want to usher in that uh motv and they know that people are going to go crazy especially here in babylon you know because uh the the gentleman at work man he's talking about uh he's talking about he wants to start his own community and all kinds of other things and you know and i didn't want to be the person to be like man i hate to bust your bubble but i mean i had to tell him you know about babylon and he just looked at me you know, and then he started mentioning like uh, militia groups and all that. And I'm like, look, we I ain't part of none of that. This is no religion or nothing like that. This is uh, us coming back to who we are, our heritage, you know, and it's not for everybody. But, you know, we that Babylon wine has got our people jacked up, man. And I think that we've been down and out, you know, and I feel this pain because, you know, if you from my, my city is a very small city, but, you know, it's like a crab and crab in a barrel type city it, that people will hold you down it's a dark cloud over this place man so you just try to get away and and do something but you also have it in your heart that you want to help others you know because we didn't have that and we got a lot of people here that'll be buddy buddy with you but the whole time they snakes and, and can't stand you so i understand his pain and where he's coming from but bro when you wake up to this truth and you understand why are we in this position there is really no way. And I said, man, we're under our oppressors. And he keeps saying, like, where are you going to go? And that's when I even told him about the chariots, you know. And I don't know if he accepted that. Maybe he, I told him, I said, you might think I'm crazy, but I'm going to tell you. And I said, man, and I broke down, you know, what the chariots mean and all that. It's really just a form of transportation, you know. So, uh, you know, I'm just... Uh, I'm grateful for this truth. This is a time for us to just really rejoice because we're in beautiful times. But we also be glad that we're in our right mind and stuff. Because when this thing collapses, a lot of people are going to lose it, man. They're going to lose it. 
And I've been one of those people that have lost everything, you know. I've been homeless before, you know. I've went through a lot of lot of trying times. I've been through things, you know, some that some may not have even endured, you know. But uh, I'm grateful, you know, because it can prepare me for what's to come, you know. Um, I know what it's like to not have electricity for like uh, three months. Because uh, when we was in Puerto Rico, and I think I said that in one of my lessons before you know like when we got hit with a hurricane things are a little bit different there than it is uh you know here you know where they'll try to get it back on within like a week or two you know over there it took it took three months man you know and um you know we weren't tripping you know because you're living on an island there's plenty of things to do outdoors you know we weren't really worried about tv and and all that so we was you know we were good but you know I could see people here in Babylon, they go nuts. You know what I'm saying? Over there, you're able to pluck fruit off of a tree, you know, food to eat and things like that. You know, it was just a different different um, atmosphere than here in Babylon. But uh, I want to pull this scripture out real quick, man. Because a lot of people now, man, they're putting their, their stock in this place. And stuff like that. And this bank system, man, is is it's through, man. And it's only gonna get worse. This is why we're telling our people, but they don't want to hear it. They'll think that you're hating, or but we're not, man. We're not hating, we're not jealous, we're not envy, none of that. We're trying to save you, man, and prepare you, man, for what's to come. You know, this is our job is to warn our turning. And people all over the world are now rejecting the New World Order. The Central Bank of Nigeria launched their CBDC a little over a year ago, but the people rejected it. So early this year, the Nigerian banks emptied the ATM machines and closed their doors. This resulted in angry protests. The people attacked ATMs and blocked roads in multiple cities. The Bank of Lebanon has crashed. The Lebanese pound has fallen to an all-time low of 80,000 against the U.S. dollar. The people have taken to the streets. Banks have been set on fire. The rise in Fed rates has officially killed America's biggest lender, Silicon Valley Bank. The FDIC shutters Silicon Valley Bank. $152 billion of uninsured deposits are destroyed. The rise in Fed rates also killed Silvergate Capital. Several regional bank stocks have plummeted as a result of the Silicon Valley Bank and the Federal Reserve's rate hikes. The housing market is collapsing as well. The majority of commercial real estate loans are lent by small banks. Massive short bets are now happening in the commercial real estate market. The Federal Reserve Bank is taking down the housing market along with all regions. The book of Matthew chapter 6 verse 19 says, Lay not up yourselves treasures upon earth where moth and rust do of corrupt and where thieves break through and steal. But lay up yourselves treasures in heavens where neither moth nor rust do of corrupt and where thieves do not break through nor steal like these banks. For where your treasures is, there will your heart be also wow see so like we've been telling you man you know the treasures of this earth that stuff man is a uh, it's gonna um moth and, and rust and it does corrupt you know what i'm saying um countless videos are coming out people are even these edomites and stuff you know it's got people worried and looking and thinking exposing what's really going on it's a bigger agenda, you know, and you got people like, uh, you know, so-called leaders, this uh, Joe Biden, he's telling you everything going to be all right. This man's talking about your money is safe. You know, we know what the scripture says about the peace and safety. Whenever they say they speak of peace or they speak of safety, then sudden destruction come. So we know something big is, is about to happen, you know, not to mention the uh, conflict he's that uh, Babylon is having with uh, North Korea, with Russia, China, Iran, all these different countries. You know what I'm saying? Even Turkey. Pe people are starting to even suspect that the earthquake was man-made that was done over there. Which, you know, that's another lesson. But these devils do have um, 
certain technology and shit like that to where they could, uh, you know, do that, man. Cause earthquakes and stuff. You know, the earth was given into the hands of the wicked. So these devils, man, they definitely, uh, you know what I'm saying? They have uh, a lot of uh, technology and things like that that they haven't, you know, shown to the world, but they've put it to use and, and stuff like that. They can alter the weather. They can do a lot of different things. These people are the wicked. And Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai is going to destroy them, man. You know, ultimately, he's, uh, you know, pushing their hand to do what they do. You know what I'm saying? Because these devils are eventually going to, uh, you know what I'm saying, they're going to pull the plug on their own shit. But see, they're thinking that their rule is going to be perpetual, and it's not. You know, their kingdom is coming to an end, and that's what we are letting our people know, man, that, um, you know, don't put your stock in, in stuff in this place. You know, you got people looking up to stars like LeBron James and Floyd Mayweather or Barack Obama. And I'm like, man, these so-called leaders, these people, they've sold out, man. They've sold out and they've, uh, you know, with Esau. So these people, and they're going to go crazy whenever they're going to be the ones that's really hurt. Because when they go in and not able to access their account, you know, some of these guys are billionaires, millionaires. You know, they got all this money. And they're going to go crazy. They're not going to have access to, you know. So, you know, for us, shit, Jake probably don't have anything in the bank. For real. Some Jakes are living paycheck to paycheck. But, yeah, we're going to hurt. You know what I'm saying? But, you know, this is going to be that time where the real, and when I say come together, I'm talking about the real of us, you know, because we have to come together in truth, you know. You can't be all over the place, you know. A lot of these Israelites want to come together, but when we speak of that, the elect, the one third, those are the ones that are going to come together, you know. But you know, under one body, one mind, you know, that's that's what it's all about. But this place is through, man. You know, and, and don't put your trust in this money and things like that. Which uh, if y'all give me a second, I'm going to pull that up too, man. Like I said, I didn't want to be long. I was heading out, running to a, a store, man, to grab something. And I just wanted to bring this out. Let, let the people know, man. You know, the times that we are in. All right. And this is uh, James chapter 5. And I'm going to start at verse 1. It says, Go to now, ye rich men. Weep and howl for your miseries that shall come upon you. Your riches are corrupted and your garments are moth-eaten. Kind of like how I was talking about the stuff earlier in uh, the previous scriptures, man. You know, your gold and your silver is cankered and the rust of them shall be a witness against you and shall eat your flesh as if as if it were fire. Wow, see? <laughs> you have heaped tr uh, treasures together for the last days. Behold, the hire of the laborers who have reaped down the fields which is of you kept by back by fraud crieth and the cries of them which have reaped and entered the ears of the lord of sabaoth yeah man <laughs> man yeah uh and when you look at a uh a cankered you know it just means corrupted your money is corrupted man you know and these devils man they they know that that time is short man so that's why these devils is going to pull the plug on this. But see, they, they have a plan and they're thinking that they're just going to execute, you know. They're thinking that they're going to get away with everything that they've done. But they're not. Yahweh Shai is going to return, man. Put these devils. He's going to take these devils out. Out of the power seat, man. You know. And um, he's going to get the uh, the remnant of our people, man. The one third. The 144,000. And he's going to lift them up, man. You know, Esau is the end of the world and Jacob is the beginning of it that follows. And see, these devils, think they, they have so much pride that they think they're going to uh, offset prophecy, man. And that's not the case. But we, we're we still out here, man, laboring and we're trying to, you know, we're also, you know, seeking out our own salvation by doing the work, by warning our people, you know, being watchmen, you know, keeping our people updated with prophecy and, um, you know what I'm saying, and warning them of the, the pending doom that's coming, man. You know, the draw of nine, man. And, um, you know, this is a big thing, man, with this bank collapse, man. But, uh, like I said, I didn't really want to be long. Uh, 
you know, but don't put your stocks in this place, man. Like I was trying to tell the co-worker, man, you know, good dude, but you know, I understand what he's trying to do, but it, you know, bro, this is done. I, I tried with the music and I woke up around the truth around the same time when things were really getting like big, you know, where I could have took it to that major level, but I'm glad I didn't. This place is corrupt, man. You know, um, just seeing how, uh, you know, a lot of our people want to start so-called uh, businesses and, and things like that. It's just not going to work, you know. And I was looking at, um, you know, another story just showing you, man, uh, how uh, our people, you know, don't see what's going on. You know, they've been telling us through a lot of these so-called um, cartoons, you know. You know, the brother's been showing this uh, G.I. Joe clip, you know, <laughs> where, uh, you know, the money was was no good. People was trying to get to their money and they couldn't and things like that. Just showing you, man, that this devil had this plan, man, for, for years, man, for decades. You know, because that cartoon, I grew up on that. I'm an 80s baby. You know, that's a, I think that's like a, a 80s, early 90s cartoon. You know, I grew up on that. And and ne never never thought about that man until now and now that's coming back out showing showing you the times that we in man will be the single largest event in human history. This will be the first event that will touch every single living person in the world. All of human activity is controlled by money, and no money has been so prevalent than the dollar. Our wealth, our work, our food, our government, even our relationships are affected by money. No money in human history has had as much reach as the dollar. It is the de facto world currency. All other currency collapses will pale in comparison to this big one. All the other currency crises have been regional, and there have been other currencies for people to grasp onto during the crisis. This collapse will be global, and it will bring down not only the dollar, but all of their fiat currencies, as they fundamentally are no different. With the collapse of currencies, it will lead to the collapse of all paper assets. You know, so definitely, man, um, don't put your stock in this place, man. This is what it talks about when the scriptures tell you to leave Babylon. It's not telling you to leave the land because no matter where you go, this devil got his hold on everything. I was telling that brother because he was like, where are we going to go? And I said, well, the chariots are going to deliver us. You know, and we got to talking about uh, Second Thessalonians where it says that we'll meet them in the air. I said, bro, that's talking about the chariots. We're going to be up up in the air with the Lord getting away from this doom, you know, when the the, the, the destruction that's going to come on this place. I said, oh, he's going to he's putting these nations uh, he's p pinning these nations against Babylon so that they'll destroy it, man. <laughs> and these devils know it. That's why they have bunkers and stuff like that, you know, because they believe they're going to escape, which they're going to escape that, but they're going into captivity. He's going to let them escape just for that, just so that they can go into captivity, man. You know, we're going to have, uh, Lord willing, you know, I'm one of those men, you know, we're going to have the privilege of, uh, pulling them out of those bunkers, man, and putting them into captivity. But this ain't the time to be starting businesses and wanting to uh, start a community and all that. I said, man, I told him about Tulsa and what happened with Tulsa, you know. These devils don't want you to have nothing. And, this, and it's going to continue to happen. 
you're under them. You have to go to them for your LLC. You got to go to them for these grants and loans and all that. And these devils don't want you to have none of that. Because, you know what I'm saying, they're going to keep you oppressed. That's that's their motto, keep you oppressed. They want you living paycheck to paycheck, broke, hurting, and busting your ass on a job for them. You know, that's all. You know, but I don't want to be long. I want to give all honor and glory and praise unto Yahweh Bashim, Yahweh Shai. You know, double honors to the elders of the nation of Israel. Shalom to you brothers and sisters. Man, Lord willing that this was edifying. Like I said, man, really just a walk and talk, man, and just venting, you know, because, you know, they kind of really, you know, that hurt me about that brother, man. What's up, man? What's up, y'all? But yeah, man. Yes. <laughs> Esau. But yeah, y'all. Shalom, man. <laughs> boy, oh boy. Yeah, I'm out here in the hood, y'all. But yeah, uh, to the next episode, y'all. Shalom. <laughs>